Fitness. We are going to talk today about ways to get back on track. So, you know, we took time off. That's what we're going to call it. <laughs> we took some time off. Let's, let's, let's be real like it wasn't my fault. We took some time off, you know, some things happened that was a little bit out of our control and we kind of fell off a little bit, but we recognize the error of our ways and we want to get back on track. We want to get back on that path to righteousness. We want to get back on the path to making the transition. So what we're doing now, yes, we're making the transition back into our healthy habits. Because, granted, we fell off overnight. Like, let's just be honest. You know, one day, I mean, in quinoa, everything with cauliflower. And the next day, it's like pack me the barbecue wings. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to lie. But, like I said, I've realized the error of my ways. I want to do right. I want to be better. I don't want to look like this anymore. <laughs> because it's a lot going on. So, we're going to get back on track. So what we're going to do, you know, I'm, I'm going to vlog it now because not everybody has time to, to read the blog. I, I get it. I understand. Don't worry about it. I don't take it personally. Um, and I'm just going to tell you, we, we're going to talk about it. Let's make it a conversation. Let's make it light. Let's enjoy each other's company. So we're going to get back on track. And I'm going to give you a couple of tips to help you get back on track. That's what we're going to do today. I cannot stress it enough. Then when it comes to eating, it, it's a major part of this transition into healthy living, um, this transition into health, into fitness. Eating is a huge part of it. Because like I said, I'm going from eating quinoa and cauliflower to eating barbecue wings and potato french fries. I'm just going to be honest. It was cheap. You know, money was super tight and that joint was cheap. So I ate it. I ate it. I'm not going to front to you. Um... But when we, we talk about health and fitness and we talk about the meal prep, carbs becomes the bad guy. And that is completely, totally, and utterly unnecessary because let me give you a little secret. Carbs are in everything. Yeah, carbs are in your broccoli, carbs are in your corn, carbs are in your quinoa, carbs are in your cauliflower. Carbs are a part of everything. So when people say, you know, cut your carbs, you can't cut your carbs. That's impossible. That just doesn't happen. That's not real. What you have to do is cut a certain type of carb. Ah, light bulb goes off. So what do I mean by that? I mean, you want to stop eating those starchy, refined carbs. Basically classified as you want to stop eating white carbs. So that's going to be like white rice, pasta, white bread, things like that. But... We can replace them with things. So what you want to kind of focus on, so to speak, is the good, healthy carbs. So that's going to be the carbs that come from sweet potatoes, the carbs that come from brown rice, the carbs that come from lentils, things of that nature, the carbs that are in quinoa. Quinoa has carbs. Yeah, quinoa is great for you, but quinoa has carbs. So you can't cut your carbs. That, that just That's not real. But... We focus on the carbs that we can eat because those are the carbs that are good for us. Those are the carbs that are adding value to our body. So those are giving us vitamins, minerals, essentials that we need, and the building blocks to carry us through the day. So what you want to do is eat those things in the morning. So you kind of want to like carb load in the morning to carry you through the day so you're not sitting around being hungry all day. We also want to eat more protein. And I don't mean just packing on the meat. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about, you know, putting chicken in every meal that we eat because I don't know what you're eating for breakfast, but fried chicken and waffles, no, no, no. That's that's not what it is. That's not what I mean about eating carbs, eating more protein, eating carbs. No, no, no. What I'm talking about eating more protein is adding eggs, adding almonds, adding oats, Greek yogurt. That's great to have. I love Greek yogurt. Let me tell you, I'm going to be very honest with you. When I started eating Greek yogurt, I was like, mm. Mm, Cause Greek yogurt got a little tang to it. So I was like, mm. now if I try to eat like plain yogurt, I'm like, oh, this stuff is disgusting. I don't know how I've ever ate it in my life. Like I will, a hundred percent, because it's it's a mind, a, a mindset. It's all in your mind. When you're thinking something's not good, tastes bad, that's because you heard someone else say it and you've never had it before. But once you start to eat it, you're like, oh, this is not bad at all. I actually like this. I 
love Greek yogurt. You know, and you can add things to your Greek yogurt. You can add almonds to your Greek yogurt. You can add a little, um, toast up some, some rolled oats. That's how you make granola. Put the rolled oats and the almonds together. Maybe add some, you know, craisins or something to it. Bam! You got granola. Sprinkle that on top of your Greek yogurt. Just a little honey over it. Delicious. Try it. I promise you, it is. I also want you to check with your doctor. Okay? Let's let's be real with each other for a minute. Things happened. A lot of changes happened very quickly. So not only do we want to check our physical, because, you know, you want to make sure, you know, go and have a little physical, you know, get, get some blood work done, check where your levels are at. So this way we're making the proper changes needed because where we were a year ago is not where we are now. So, you know, back in 2019, we could bench press these wonderful numbers. We haven't done that in like a year's time span. So we, we can't start there. When you go back to the gym, you're not going to start at 100. You're going to start at like the 5s, the 10s, the 15s and work your way up to 100. And that's the same thing we want to do with our health. We want to evaluate where we are right now. So this way, when we start to do things and we start to add on, we're not damaging our body. I also want you to do a mental health check because we went through a lot, okay? And, and you know, sometimes we don't want to admit it to other people, but we also don't want to admit it to ourselves. But it's okay. You know, take some time out to yourself if you want to journal, um, you know, write songs, write poetry, whatever outlet you need. If you need, to, I, I would suggest and recommend that people get in touch with a therapist. Um, I know there are taboos about seeing, seeking out health and seeing therapists. And it's like, I don't want to be laying on somebody's couch. But therapy has changed. You can text you can have phone calls. You can call an anonymous line. There are different ways to do it. If you don't feel comfortable, you know, you know, this is me. This is who I am. This is where I am. You, you, there's some options available. So do that first, just to, you know, check where you are, and this so we can make a plan as to where we're gonna go. I also want you. Let's get back into eating a little bit. I want you to change your plate. So, you know, we, we might have started over the plate like this, but our plates grew, and our plates grew, and I'm talking about the size of the plate. Our plates grew, and because the plate got bigger, we was able to add more food and things like that. Let's bring that down a little bit, because like I said, it's a mindset thing, it's a mental thing. We eat with our eyes first before we eat with our mouths. So if you get a smaller plate and you pack the food on the smaller plate, you're going to be like, oh, I got a full plate of food. You trick yourself into thinking you're eating more than you actually are. I've done it with my younger cousins and siblings plenty of times. <laughs> Let me tell you, it works. You get a smaller plate, you put the same spoonfuls of everything on it, but because the plate is smaller, it looks like you added more food. I want you to also get active outside of the gym. Um, before, that may have presented a bit of a challenge to people, but not every gym is open anymore. So you can't rely on the gym as your source of workout, as your source of exercise, or, you know, just being able to do things how you used to be like, okay, I'm going to do a little cardio, I'm going to hit the treadmill, I'm going to do a little cardio, I'm going to hit the elliptical. Those things aren't necessarily available to everybody because every gym is not open. Every gym, you know, they have restrictions. Certain people could be there at certain times. Capacity levels, you know, people can't be on equipment right next to each other. So it makes it a little more difficult to hit the gym. But guess what? You already have your sneakers on. Take a walk around the block. Or you still want to drive to the gym? Walk around the parking lot. If Do what works for you. So some people are like, oh my gosh, I don't want to work out in my neighborhood because of my neighbors. I don't want people to see me. That's fine. No problem. Go get in your car. You know, put your workout clothes on. Get in your car. Go to the mall. Walk around the mall. Go to the parking lot that your gym is at. Walk around the parking lot. Let's get active outside of the gym because we can't necessarily rely on the gym to give us everything that we need and everything that we want or everything that it was giving us before. So you got to get a little, you know, creative and think of some different ways to do the same things. But it's going to become a new thing because we're going to do it in a new way. And we're going to get more creative with it. So we're going to add some things to it. And it's going to be wonderful and it's going to be awesome. And we're going to completely and totally love it. Yes. More important than anything, 
I want you to stay encouraged. Um, and I mean that in find ways to motivate yourself. So whether it, you know, when you're setting goals, I want you to set goals that are outside of food. Because most of the time what we do is, you know, I'm going to work out for, you know, if I work out X amount of days, you know, I'm going to have a cookie. I'm going to have a brownie. If I work out X amount of days, I'm going to go out to eat. Let's take food out of the equation. Let's set goals. What I like to do, I like to set goals, you know, my weight loss goals, my fitness goals, my health goals in tangible things. So I'll buy, you know, an outfit that's not my size right now, but I want to get to it by X date. So by X date, I want to, you know, be able to wear this outfit. By X date, I want to be able to do this. Um, buy myself a new pair of shoes, buy myself some jewelry, maybe a new bag. These are the type of goals you want to be setting. Not cookies, chips, cheat meals, like, oh, I ate good all week, so on Saturday I'm going to have a cheat meal. No, 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 no. That's not what our goal is going to be. That's, that's not what we're setting our goals to. We're not setting them to food. That's why things don't work. So you've done all this work all week just to mess it up by having a burger and fries. Don't do that to yourself. And then on, on, on Monday, you can't understand why your shirt's tight, why your pants are tight, why you can't lift, whatever, whatever. It's because that one meal on a Saturday became breakfast on Sunday and lunch on Sunday. This is why we don't want to set goals to food set them to things you know um i want to get down to a certain you know look or size i want to fit into a certain size of clothes you know i'm going on vacation i want to look good in the, you know in a new bikini get yourself a new swimsuit you know whatever the case may be but set it to a little more tangible things don't get all materialistic with it but, but set it to some tangible things that you can actually reach out and touch. And you can also send it to some intangible things. Because feeling good within, let me tell you, is the best goal ever. So, right, I, I lost my waistline. Let's be honest about it. I lost it. My goal is to get my waistline back because I want to get some waist beads. That's a freaking goal, okay? I want to get some waist beads. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do some, you know, we're going to do some cardio. We're going to do some core exercises. I'm going to get my arms right. I'm going to get my legs right. So when I get in them waist beads, nobody's going to know about the waist beads because they're checking their body. Hello. Hello. Let's talk about a goal. Thank you. That's how we set goals. I'm not worried about the cookies. I'm not worried about the brownies. I'm not worried about the um, burgers and fries because we have alternatives to all of that. So I don't have to even deprive myself of that where that's a reward to me. I don't reward myself with food. No, 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 no. Because let's just talk about burgers and fries. Um, you're having a ground beef burger with white potato fries. Okay. The alternative to that that keeps me healthy, sane, and fit and still keeps me on track to get into my goals is a turkey burger or a bison burger. Yes, you can have bison. Uh, bison is a very lean meat and it's not filled with any preservatives or anything like that. So you can have bison. You can have a turkey burger. You can have a bison burger. Turkey is a very lean meat. And you can have sweet potato fries. So bam. How, how is this a reward for me when I can eat that any day of the week? Thank you. This is what I'm talking about. All right. We talked about a lot. We're going to let it all digest. Um, let me just give you a quick little recap. So ways to get back on track. We're, we're going to not skip carbs because carbs are in everything we're just going to change the carbs we're eating we're going to eat more protein and i'm not talking about loading up every meal with um chicken and lean beef we're going to eat eggs we're going to eat almonds we're going to eat um oat greek yogurt we're going to change our plate size so we're not filling these huge plates of food with um plates with food or even trying to get this huge plate and we're putting our proper portions on it but now because the, there's so much space on the plate we feel like we're not eating anything we're going to bring our plate size down so when we put our proper portions our plate looks full and we eat and we're happy we're going to check in with our doctor not only for our mental health but our physical health just to do a once over check to see where we are right now so we can make some positive goals for the future we're going to get active outside of the gym not only because the gym has new restrictions and things like that, but because some vitamin D and some fresh air never hurt anybody. 
let's be honest about it and we're also going to stay encouraged because we're going to set some real tangible goals all right i've given you a lot i'm going to go process it all but i'll meet you back in a little while